Hey everyone, Chad here with Digging History, and Happy New Year, and welcome to this week's episode. Uh, this is actually the first hunt of 2024. Uh, in fact, this hunt takes place on New Year's Day. Uh, the other guys were busy uh, working uh, or couldn't get away, so I decided to head out to the hay fields uh, and play around for a little bit. And you know, as always, man, this place just never disappoints. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you on the first find. Well, again, I'm right up here by the road. Um, I got a real shallow hit down here. Um, kind of was expecting trash, but I flipped it out and check it out. It's a nice dandy button. Got her cleaned up. Whoops, focus. Got her cleaned up just a little bit. Obviously, she's been smacked around, but there's a bent over shank on it. So cool. I'll take that. Nice big old dandy button. Doesn't look like there's anything on it, but I'll get it cleaned up later. And if I see anything, I'll put a picture up. Otherwise, I'm just going to go with the plain uh, dandy button. So cool. All right, let's keep going. Uh, hopefully, there's some more stuff here. Well, it has been tough going. Over in that corner over there is where I found the dandy button. And I've done a ton of area around here and found nothing else but trash. But I just got a signal down here. And that is a spun back. It's missing the shank. Um, but that is definitely a spun back button. Tomback. Cool. Um, it does not appear that there's any design on it cleaned up fairly nicely though but I don't see a design on it looks like just a plain the dandy button but cool I'll take that nice another button all right I'm gonna keep swinging here for a little while longer and hopefully there is some more stuff here so let's keep going all right so this was not a good signal but down in here and I just plucked this out and it is an Indian that is crazy. I, I've never dug an Indian from this site. You can kind of see the date coming. It's 18. And then I'm a little difficult making out the last two numbers. But I will get it cleaned up better when I get home. But sweet. I'll take that. The back is just... Ugh. But I think there's going to be enough detail on the front when I get her cleaned up. You'll be able to see and then catch that date better. So cool. Um, I'm going to keep going a little bit longer here. It's kind of getting close to getting dark. So... Um, I'll just keep plucking around here for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to get out of here. All right, so back out here, plucking around uh, in the Hayfield area, where uh, a while back I found like three copper coins in this area in a barber dime. So I'm kind of going back over the area again, because we've had a lot of moisture lately. Just got a weird signal down here and plopped it, and I just popped out, and that looks like it is... A hunk of shoe buckle frame. Oh, that is cool. Heck yeah. Can't tell if there's a little pattern or anything on it there or not, but that is definitely the end of a shoe buckle frame. Awesome. Cool. I will definitely take that. Um, again, I've said it a million times before, man. I want to find a full one of these. But cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, so there was a plug, an old plug right there. Um, I'm not sure from what, what hunt, but an old plug. But literally right next to it here, um, I had like a 2122, and it was a double tap. Like it was right at the surface. I popped the plug out, checked in there, wasn't in there, flipped over the plug, and look, right land right there. I don't know if that is silver or what that is. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> Seriously, it's a memorial. Eh. Holy cow. All right. Well, it's something, right? His court would say it's not nothing. But it's just a memorial. All right, let's keep going. All right, well, another little signal in here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right here is a little musket bull. Cool. Nice little find. I'll take that. I like musket balls. I must be like more like a, a pistol shot but cool nice little relic uh, and no matter how many times we come to this spot there is just always stuff here so cool I'm gonna keep going we'll see what else is here all right well it's been pretty tough going today um obviously Hayfield right you know um been here forever pounding it um I, I almost walked right past this it was kind of a little bit of a squeaker I went back over and stuff um 
and I plucked it out, and there it is right there. And that almost looks like the edge of silver. Oh, it is silver. Oh, it's a trime. Check that out. Holy crap. Um, yeah, that's a that's a trime. It's a US three cent piece. Let's uh, let's get this thing cleaned up. See what uh, we can get a year and stuff off of it. Holy cow. This is uh, only my second trime ever. This is going to be my first silver of 2024. So this is the, probably the, I think it's the thinnest. Oh man, I'm, I'm, uh, I wasn't prepared today uh, to find silver apparently. But man, did I do it. Holy cow. Um, let me, I'm going to run out of water. Let me get this cleaned up and I'll be right back with you guys. All right. I don't know how well you guys can see that, um, but that is an 1852 US three cent piece. You know, also, you know, commonly referred to as a trime. Uh, these were minted from 1851 to like 1872 or three. I can't quite remember right offhand, uh, but this is the thinnest coin ever minted in the US. I mean, it, it is tiny. Um, look how thin that is. Um, I wish I had a, actually, you know what? Um, but yeah, I, like this thing is, it's smaller than a modern dime. And obviously it's like half the thickness of a modern dime. So awesome find, you know, my first silver of uh, 2023, or, or excuse me, it's 2024, because um, it is January 1st. Check out the back of it though. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. All right, let's keep going. So I thought I'd give you guys kind of an idea um, of the trime just on how small that thing is. So that's the trime right next to uh, um, the memorial penny that I dug. Um, it is insane how tiny and thin that coin is. Um, and then to be able to come out here to this huge, huge field and be able to get lucky enough to walk over that signal. So I'm super stoked about that find. So cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, uh, I'm not too far from where I found that trime, and I'm coming along here, and let's pop this signal and check it out. That's uh, gonna be another musket ball. Cool. Got a nice lot of, nice patina still on it, or patina, I guess, now to it because it's been in the ground. Lead turns that white, whitish color like that, um, but cool, I'll take that. Nice another bus musket ball for today. That's two on the day. Cool, all right, let's keep going. All right, so this was a very deep signal way down in there. And if you look, I just plucked it out down there. I'm gonna actually throw my pinpointer down here. I mean, my whole pinpointer's in the ground and this was down in here, right in, in this area, popped it out. And it is, that's open, worked. Um, wow, so you can see that's where the pin would've went across. That's either gonna be, uh, it's probably most likely a shoe buckle frame. Um, I was thinking it might be a little bit smaller and, and possibly be a, a knee, whoops, come on, focus. A knee buckle, but I think, I think that's actually going to end up being a bit of shoe buckle frame. Let me um, let me get this cleaned up a little bit, and uh, we'll be right back with you. All right, check that out. Um, that almost looks like it was probably silver washed at one time, uh, but yeah, that's definitely a big chunk of a colonial shoe buckle frame, and it's open work. This is so this little bump here. There would have been like, oh, come on, focus. Um, that's where the pin uh, for what they call the chafe would have run across. Um, to hold the center part, the shoe buckle tape is like it's got the, t the tongs in it and hold it into the leather strap that would have been on the shoe and stuff. But man, that's another cool find. That's so awesome. All right, that's my second piece today. So let's keep going. Um, maybe there's more of it in this area. I'd love to be able to find the rest of it and put it back together. All right, let's keep going. Man, I'll tell you what, I absolutely love this place. No matter how many times we come out here, um, I'm always finding stuff. This place just continues to produce, especially this front field, uh, at least for me. So, all right, I'm going to keep going. We'll see you guys on the next one. Well, I'm continuing to, to kind of go back and forth here in the hay fields. Um, I'm only going up from about halfway up this hill um, to, to behind me towards the road. Anyways, I got a signal down here. Uh, it was pretty deep. Plucked out and I got this and it looks like it's probably like a little finial piece or something like that because it's iron there but like a copper alloy or 
brass on on the top piece of it there um i found one similar to this at um actually i think it was at the cab bus field or now what we call the drape bus field so pretty cool little relic i'll take that all right i'm gonna go ahead and toss it in the the good pouch and uh keep going all right well uh this was really kind of a scratchy hit um but deep and you know obviously we have been here so much and so you really have to go slow and listen for those just real faint signals which what this was uh it really helps as you can tell i'm close up to the road so you know this is if you're kind of new to metal detecting or if you're even thinking about getting into this is where headphones are so important um because you can help kind of drown out some of that road noise and be able to really listen for those quiet little signals but got down there plucked it out and i just saw this green pop out and i believe that is part of a spoon this would be the part that would widen out into the spoon bowl and then this is just part of the handle going up so that's kind of cool nice and green patina on that too so i'll take that nice little relic all right well let's keep going we'll see you guys in the next one so here was another really deep deep signal um but it was loud um and i got this i don't know exactly what it is but that looks like leather strapping there on that and ooh, is there writing on there there is you know what is that a dog tag harford county um you know what? let me get this cleaned up a little bit more and see exactly what i got here because i'm not sure but I, that might actually be a dog tag it's weird that it's got the 949 number though huh all right let me get it cleaned up i'll be right back with you guys all right well i'm not real sure exactly what this is i'm, I'm gonna go with it it might be i mean because there's leather strapping there on the back of this I don't know what this pin is that's sticking out through the front, but it says Harford County and then MD for Maryland, which is, is the county that we're in. Um, and then it's, it looks like it's 1143 or 48. Looks like the number underneath it there. And then there's this phone number here. Um, oh no, it's a 1949 dog tags. Oh, that's what it is. So it is, it is a dog tag, 1949. I thought those were numbers here, but it's not. It says dog tags right there. Man, that is a super cool find. And I think this is just part of whatever the centerpiece was. But it's cool that it still has a piece of the, the dog collar on the back side of it. Um, awesome find. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Wow. So this was a super deep signal. And I mean, it was really, really faint. And if you look at my pinpointer down in there, like it is that far below the surface I can't even get in a frame like and I just plucked it out and oh my goodness where did it go <laughs> um where the oh right there see it right there in the clump that looks like a coin um right there let's see if that indeed what it is. Or is it a button? <laughs> it's a button. Yep. It's a button of some sort, I think. There's something on the back of it there. That's wicked. Um, let me get this cleaned up a little bit and uh, let's see what exactly we got here. I'll be right back with you guys. Well, I thought it was a coin. It's not a coin. It's a button. But I'll take it. That's a nice, nice big button. Spun back there. Yeah, heck yeah. I'll take that. Cool. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, it is raining a little bit. Kind of spritzing around here. But um, I started over by that tree line. And I'm only going up about halfway up the hill. You can almost see that little clearing right there. And then there's another little clearing in the hedgerow right there. And so I'm going between those and working from that tree line all the way across the field to that hedge line so i'm a, about halfway or maybe a little bit over halfway so i'm gonna keep going and uh hopefully there's some more stuff here all right this was um kind of another little faint hit um it was way down in here it was like a 12 solid 12 but but just like not a loud banging signal so you could tell it was deep it was it was faint but it, it was consistent 12 um again i'm equal i don't know if i said equinox 800 today um Anyways, plopped out and something round. And oop, I can feel the shank. Yep, it's gonna be a nice little flat button. 
Um, let's see if there's anything on the front. I don't think there is. I don't think there's a design. No, no design. Gonna be just a plain, plain Jane flat button. But hey, you know what? I don't care. I like my buttons, so I'm gonna take that and uh, I'm gonna keep going. Almost to the tree line. It's over there. Let's keep going. All right. So this was another um, kind of like uh, 10 to 12 um, on the Equinox. I flipped out the plug and see right there. There is. I believe that is to be a little tiny button this looks a lot like the one I found here last time but look at all the gold gilt that's still on it there's still a lot of gilt left on that thing check it out even on the shank cool that's a tiny little cuff button if I remember right there's a little kind of floral pattern in there I don't want to do too much with it right now um, because when I can get home I can hit this because it's still got that gilt on it I can hit it up and uh, Maybe see we get the details a lot more of the details with that with that guilt still on it. So I will um, take it for now. Keep going, and uh, um, once I get her cleaned up, I'll put up a picture as well. So cool. All right, let's keep going. Well, that is it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And man, what a crazy place! this is um you know i really wish i could go back you know 200 years ago and see what was here see what was in this place because it's just insane with the stuff that we're finding there um and yet there's nothing on the old maps so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to our channel if you're not already because that just helps getting our videos shared out and helping us continue to grow this channel so as always we appreciate your support and thanks for watching